a very brief video to show you how to lay your pattern on your fabric and to mark your grain lines, pin your pattern down, as well as how to mark your dots and also how to snip into those notches not going too deep. Sutherland. So if you enjoy anything about fashion designing, sewing, um, business startups, sewing for yourself or creating your own collection, this is the place to be. So let's get started. All right. So when I, once I've traced off my pattern, either from a commercial pattern or it's my own pattern that I've designed, I lay it onto the fabric and I am actually cutting two two garments at once. I'm cutting the denim and I'm cutting the green. I'm cutting two jackets. It's my new pattern that's coming through. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. And if you enjoy this type of content, anything about sewing, fashion designing, creating your own wardrobe, or even going as far as planning and developing and putting out your own online collection, well, this is the place to be. And then if you like this type of stuff, how about giving me some love and press the subscribe button, the share, the like, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Once I've laid my pattern down, I first do me pin it and then I will check my grain lines. So how you do that is you check your grain line, which is marked on your pattern, and then you either measure from the salvage or on the fold from the fabric. So you will take your tape measure and you'll measure from the grain line up until the fold line and it must make sure that it is exactly the same it must be aligned if it is skew it is going to pull on the garment when you make up your garment so make sure that everything is aligned according to your grain line following your grain line which is on your patterns so i went ahead and i marked everything and I'll start from one section. So I'll start from the beginning of the fabric and I'll measure all my grain lines, place my patterns down. Once I've pinned a few down, I'll move on and I will carry on place, uh, placing more pattern pieces down. What I also do is once I've cut out my garment, I usually keep the pattern piece on my actual um, cut out so that when I do get round to sewing, the pattern piece is still on it's still on my garment um, cutouts you can see here is the pattern it's still onto my garment so i'll do that so that i can just eyeball what it is because i might only sew in a week's time or two weeks time or i've got several other garments that i'm sewing all at once and I might just forget the pieces. So this is what I kind of do. Or I can take a piece of paper, write down the pattern piece and put it onto my garments that I've cut out. So before this step, it's about tracing off the pattern according to your measurement. So I'm a size eight um, jacket. My bust is slightly bigger, but I'm only a size eight to a size 10 depending on the make or my patterns that I make myself. So I will first trace the pattern off onto my size, which I use a tracing wheel and I use carbon paper. I just use normal carbon paper. I don't use dressmaking carbon paper because I find that it's too light and it doesn't really get through onto um, my patterns. And you can see like here yeah, I've duplicated the pattern here, yeah, I've used my chalk pencil. But I mean, I don't use the carbon paper on my pattern fabric. I normally put it onto my actual pattern when I'm tracing off. I will leave a link down below where I actually show you in more detail how to trace your pattern off. So when you trace with a carbon paper, and you're putting your pattern on top of your sheet of paper and you're tracing it off, you can see that it actually leaves the mark on the paper. So you can actually trace off your size, which makes it so much easier for you to place on your fabric and it'll definitely be more accurate. 
So this is a very brief video on just how to do the cut out, the layout of your pattern on your fabric. I have some more courses, which is numbered from one to five. So this is going to help you to enhance and grow your sewing skills as well as the technical side. And this could on my five tutorial courses that I have that I've um, very detailed but a very short um, course for you to go through is to understand the commercial pattern. When you do open up a pattern in the future, you actually have a lot more confidence and you have more clarity and you're actually more excited to use a commercial pattern because now you understand what it means and all the little circles and where the dots are and the different graded sizes and you know the instructions the different fabrics and the sizes so it makes much more sense to you so you can actually with confidence use the pattern and actually make yourself some garments all right the next one is how to take your correct measurements oh this is a big one so i teach my students first of all is to understand how to take body measurements and how our bodies are all different and then once we've taken our body measurements we will obviously put that into the patterns to trace off the correct size as you are, you could be three different sizes your bust could be one size your tummy waist area could be another and your hips could be a totally different measurement and so we look at all those different um proportional measurements of your body and we discuss it in the, in the tutorial then how to pin your garment when you're fitting it and trying it on and does it quite fit you know correctly in certain areas of the body how to adjust it and how to make those you know those changes and pin them onto the garment how to use individual measurements and to just help you adjust the trouser pattern to make sure that that particular trouser pattern becomes a block for you that you know you can use it in the future Something else I notice that my students do, which I'm going to share this with you, is that when you need to cut your notches, you should only cut in about half a centimeter, five millimeters. If you're going to cut in more, you're going to cut into your seam allowance. So prevent that and just sort of nip about 0 0.5 into where your notch level is. The other thing is, that my, my dots, let me just show you how I mark my dots. So my pattern has got the dot marked onto it with the circles. So I'll press my, my needle right, my pins right through the dot area. And once I cut out my garment, you can see here yeah, I've marked my pins. I've put the pins right through to the bottom, all the layers of fabric, and I will mark with my colored chalk. So I'm marking it through all four layers because I'm cutting two jackets out at once. All right, so if I open it up, you'll see the dot marks. All right, so here are the marks for the dots. All right, they've all got the clear markings on. You do exactly the same for your lining. You take your patterns and you line up your grain line. You measure against your fold of your fabric to make sure that it's accurate on the grain. Or you measure from the salvage onto your grain line. 
Okay, so I've pinned everything down. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. Go through all my pattern pieces that require interfacing. And also you need to decide what kind of interfacing you want to use, a very thick one, a lighter one, depending on what kind of look you want to the garment. So I'm going to get more of a medium weight. So I will get all my pattern pieces out that require the interfacing and just go ahead and cut them all out and press it on without steam, just with a hot iron. And I use a press cloth, so I prepare everything before I even start sewing. But for now, everything is in the bag, in the packet. So it's all kept together for my next step. Once I've cut my garment out, there's all its um, pieces. I will take my sketch and I'll put it into a, a pocket, plastic pocket. At the same time, I will take my pattern. And I'll fold it up and I'll put it inside where my sketch is. Into your clear packet. Put everything into the packet. So it's all ready to be sewn. 